Martin Moore from Austria, our startup journey going over the Alps to Vienna. Eco Duna, mm. um, doing the really green stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Jan, for the opportunity to be here. Thank you also to Autodesk for giving us the big program using the software. That is a great help for us. Ecoduna, founded 2008 as an individual company by two guys. One of them is here. The first time we saw money was 2010. In these two, time, in these two years, we built up a team of 16 people, highly motivated specialists. We have two strong patents. And uh, we are internationally seen as technology leader in our field. Uh, we have an industrial scale demo plant up and running in Austria and uh, we sold our first prototype to Vattenfall in Germany. Uh, we have some large projects in the pipeline and uh, we have received uh, public, substantial public funding, uh, European Union and national. And uh, good, good for me also is I'm not running wildly after money. We have a secure money situation in the moment and I'm going for a good decent process. Uh, what we're looking for is 5 to 10 million, and I'll go into that later on. Um, we are in the third industrial revolution. We are part, we are a substantial part of that. And uh, how's that? The first industrial, uh, industrial revolution turned us all about burning. And the second is to understand the process as in nature, as a complete process. So what we're looking for is to cycle carbon instead of just avoiding it. And that is uh, also counting for wastewater, which is nutrient for us. So carbon is good. We exist of carbon. Our food exists of carbon. So let's not damn it. Let's use it. That's a very important point. So what are microalgae good for? First of all, the crude actually descends from microalgae just a long time ago. We use it already in some industrial food stuff and in, in, uh, uh, make good stuff from it. We use it as supplements. Uh, we need it, some of the substances of the algae, we need to become clever or to have our heart beating nicely. And in a moment, some parts which could be produced from algae are produced from fish oil, which is in a moment quite a disgusting stuff. Um, I'm not going into krill, I think that's kind of self-descriptive. Self krill is the second step of the food chain and we, by that, uh, limit down aquatic life. Market for omega-3 is very good. And the reason why I put the emphasis on this omega-3 is because it's a very uh, clear idea. What about the bioenergy? What about the energy source? The problem there is we can do that. It's just economically not feasible yet. So we need to focus on meat products for the time being to finance the whole process. We can produce fuel from algae. That's no problem. But nobody would buy it right now because still some dirty black stuff is squirting out of the earth and we use up something which has built up for 3 billion years and they say in 200 years everything is gone. I know my own ancestors minimum 400 years back. My wife knows them 670 years back, name by name. They will know our names in 200 years when we've used everything up, okay? So be aware of that. So in a moment we produce, <laughs> we produce for 2 euros 20, that's far too much for burning it in a, in a tank, but the point is, the value of the higher value stuff is much higher, 60 euros and more you can obtain. And 40% of that oil is valuable for human people and 60% could be left over for the energy or transport sector. And one hectare produces 60 tons, possibly more, we haven't seen that yet, of oil. And just to keep in mind, it's about five tons maximum you get out of oil palm plantations. Why is Ecoduna doing that? There's other people doing that for much longer than we are doing that. Um, and I'll tell you why. It didn't really work so far. So there's a, still a way to go. And uh, Leonardo da Vinci said, Nessun effetto in natura senza regare. Nothing in nature happens without a reason. And that means, basically, that nature built out trees from ponds. And why? Because a tree has a certain surface it's using up, its footprint. And that footprint is not the nature's answer. So otherwise, nature would have stayed in the bond. Algae would have been the final limit. There is a reason why a tree built five, 25 times the surface of its footprint. And that was the goal, and that has not been achieved before by any one of our competitors on the way. So just to give you an idea what 25 times means, right? 
So what we do is we fold a bond and we put it up to the same ratio as a tree is doing that. That's an animation which sometimes works, today it works. Um, what we do is we follow the sun, and that's real photos. We are one of the very few ones in our field which build. Many talk, many render. We also did render. The, the thing before I've seen was an Autodesk rendering. But we have systems up with 100,000 liters in. What is our USB? We are the ones who can really use this 25 times the footprint in surface to photosynthesis. So we use 100% of the light for photosynthesis. And we are the only ones doing that. We have no harmful energy stress by too much light in the algae. We have no shading. We have the first time implemented fully continuous process in the algae production world. We have a fully controlled industrial process and we have easy industrial solutions for maintenance. We have low OPEX and we have lower photoactive volume costs. So one liter in our system costs less than an open bond liter. And, um, we are at the brink of large-scale production. We have uh, projects in the pipeline which will go really large and uh, that will hit the route. So we are looking for around uh, up to 10 million, I said, 5 to 10 million. That is about the range we, we are interested in. And uh, the big question remains, what will we do with all that money? Um, I got a very old... I'm just kidding, sorry. <laughs> Uh, no, what we want to do with that is uh, we have very clear goals. And uh, number one is we have to get more stuff. Good stuff in Europe is really expensive. It's getting scarce. You all know that. And um, to focus back on that, we have a head start. We have a good head start of two years in the technology. We want to keep that or even enlarge that to our competitors. We also want to build up a bit on our biology know-how, not because we really want to, but our customers, our clients want that from us. They ask us questions we can't always answer straight away. Um, and we are building right now an industrial control software which also could be used in other less advanced systems, but you can only develop that control system software in a system which is controllable. And since we are the only ones which have a controllable system, we are the only ones who can really build up a control software. So that will be an additional product. Um, and we build some large-scale units uh, in, in Asia and uh, other places where we need to back up big business. You know, it's not easy for a small company to just build something up. You get some prepayment, but never everything. Um, then we have license uh, situations. Some big corporates from other regions want for a limited region our technology under their brand, which is a good idea, and if they pay money, fine, but we need to back that up as well. And we would like to harvest some of the money running around in the Americas, which uh, is also a costly process for a European company. So we're not just looking for money. Money is good, but we are looking for partners and partners who understand that we are basically, even if we are third industrial revolution people, we're still the old economy in a way that we build things which run and work. So that's it. Thank you very much. And I'm ready for your question. Thank you. Good timing, right? Perfect, perfect. You are a real professional. Do you have a green question for this very green man with the algae production? Wonder Technology. So you, you said that you have delivered a plant to Vattenfall. Yes. So how big was that? Well, that I mean, was a 40,000 litre plant. All right. Okay. And they use it for? Um, flue gas. Okay. I mean, there, is, there, there has been a big European funded project for carbon capture and storage, which has kind of stopped in a way because nobody wants the storage underneath their own house. So, uh, some of the energy corporates uh, kind of shift over to carbon capture and use. So we are in this carbon capture and use program where carbon is used for producing biomass and we are just starting next year to evaluate what we can do with this biomass, which from logistic reasons is from flue gas, so it's from waste, so we have to look into that. But from the quality, it's great, it's growing great and uh, it's great biomass. And I mean, the, the cornfield next to the power plant also uses industrial carbon, but that's a different legislative situation. So we have to deal with all sorts of fields there. But it's, it's, doing, it's doing a good job. 
if you do an LG plant and you are not um, using it to produce uh, fuel, yep. but for the um, um, other target industry, where you mentioned 60 euro per liter, yeah, um, I mean, then I think the return on investment is attractive for project financing people, exactly. right? Exactly. Do would you be get a lot of calls from them already? Uh, yeah, that's the idea in the moment. So everybody in the moment, people understand that in the moment you only make money by producing the high value products. Mm. But we have a very clear goal. Ecoduna will be the first ones who will hit the line to produce fuel. Okay. That's um, our commitment we have made and we see that in the near future. When can you reach it? Five to eight years. It's still some time, but uh, maybe an exit is possible before when everybody else understands that line. At, at the moment, we, we can calculate that line on a secure base probably. So we are looking for a midterm situation. We are not exiting in two years, I would say. So all those of you, the venture colleagues here, if you want to make money with us in two years, no. <laughs> if you have four years, yeah, let's go for it, okay? So, something like that, okay? <laughs> okay, long-term cooperation, that's really cool. All right, okay. thank you very much, Martin. Thank you. Martin. Thank you. <clears throat>